Good evening, Vanessa. Good evening to uh any audience that is really with us now. If you are already in uh live streaming now, please do type a hi or good evening or whatever you want to say in the comment so that we know you are here. So in case uh we you may not be able to hear me clearly, okay, let me know as well. Okay, so at least I know. Okay, let me just start sharing. Okay, I think that's about it. Huh? Uh, maybe we can start with... Share? Share to two more, too many places. Uh, I think it just in case if you are, you, are, you are looking at the... If you are looking at the live, you are viewing the live from a different page or group or whatever, maybe y'all maybe y'all can proceed to our main Facebook page and uh, post in our main live so that it's easier for us to uh, see your comment otherwise if if you are like your view from your group or your view from another page or or any other profile link right then your comment from there we may not be able to see okay so uh <coughs> so today is uh it's a day for doing uh live divination Okay, maybe uh before we start the live divination, okay, usually in our live divination, um this live divination is how it works is basically uh we will have two segments. One segment is we'll explain a bit of what divination is all about, what e wisdom divination is all about. Okay, uh the second segment will be we are doing live divination reading analysis for anyone who wants. So the ways we do divination will be either by giving us random number or if I want to save the time, I will not even ask you for a number. I will just look at the time you ask a question. Okay. Um, to start divination. So um, then if you have time, we may even do sound divination, uh, not sound divination, color divination or uh, surrounding divination. So basically, uh, what divination is? Divination is basically divining the heaven, okay, divining the people, and divining the earth. Whatever you can see in this world, or matters, or issue, or people, or person, or whatever you think you can think of, words, forms, smell, taste, it, all this can trigger a divination. So divination is a very powerful tool in our e-wisdom curriculum. Okay. So before we start also to just to let you all know, we are having upcoming our e-wisdom divination professional class in Singapore and Malaysia. Uh, you'll be in, in on this month. Okay, the Singapore one will be on 17 to 18. But next you haven't changed the banner. The background <laughs> is too much, right? But uh, they can't see me with that. <laughs> <laughs> they can. I can see you. <laughs> okay. So the Singapore one is still seventeen to nineteen March. Okay, it's a three day event. But the first day will be around three four hours. Uh, you mainly a uh, online event the first day. Okay, and then the rest, um, last two day will be physical class. 
And we also have a Malaysia class will be in Kuala Lumpur. Okay, uh, it will be on 24th to 26th. Okay, so for those of you interested, you can scan the QR code um, either in our background. Okay, in my background, you should really see the QR code, right? Then, or you can see Vanessa, and if you can see Vanessa. Or if you cannot, you just go to our page. There's a lot of banners there. You can just scan the QR code, go in. All the curriculum, what is the professional class teaching, what is the price, it's all inside. Okay, y'all can go in and see. So basically, I don't do so much of sales talk. Lah. If you're interested, you just join. Okay. So uh, then the second segment, we are doing the live divination. Um, we would just like you to do uh or something in exchange for the live divination, you just need to like and share this post, this Facebook Live, not the whole page, uh, it's Facebook Live, uh, in your profile, okay? Then we will answer your question with a live divination. Okay, so that's about it. So, uh, shall we have some questions for divination first before we start the live divination? The next I heard yeah. you prepare some question, right? Yes, sir. Actually, some people would have asked, um, tomorrow if I'm going for the interview, am I able to uh, cast a divination to know that will I be successful for the interview? Or what color should I wear? Or what is expected from the interviewer? Hmm. Vanessa, do you hmm. think I... Do you think I always like to dig a hole for you to jump? <laughs> always so. <laughs> so I dig another hole for you to jump. <laughs> so I think that's a good question. Uh, yeah. And I think that's a question that uh, a lot of students or clients always ask, right? I oh, think right. even even you're not doing a consultation, sometimes your friend may ask because they know that you have learned divination for a couple of years already. Mm -hmm. So usually what will you answer? I believe, I definitely, I think that's a, that a question that you have been receiving uh quite a few times. That's why you ask it here. So let's say you are the you are the one who is answering. How how will you answer? Okay, uh firstly I would have asked, uh, do you know the uh, timing? So uh, the date and the timing, then uh, I will use a time uh, to do a divination. Then from the time of divination, I will see from the start, from the process and the end pillar to give advice to uh, them what is expected. Well, I think you, I think you are doing a very, even more pro than me. <laughs> <laughs> but this I mean, you this one normally you actually ask for day and time, man. Rather than yeah, two... because for me, I won't be do I won't be doing so professional. Right? <laughs> it's not that I'm not professional, but because, uh, one of the thing is that divination is really um about doing anytime, anywhere. So sometimes uh sometimes uh you may not have because sometimes uh, sometimes like what you say is talking about interview right hmm. so sometimes the interview is you know but I haven't sent you but you're curious to know whether the interview you have so in that case it doesn't have time and date correct yep so in that case uh, that would be one of the gaps really hmm. so if if I'm doing it I'm not so pro uh, but I think what you say is correct. It's the proper procedure. Yeah, yes. Everything everything uh, has a proper procedure. But if mm. you all know Ivan Chong, uh, Ivan Chong is someone who uh, doesn't have a proper procedure. <laughs> Although I teach proper procedure, but usually in my consultation, uh, my proper procedure is not to have a proper procedure. And that's what divination is all about. Divination is all about talking about at the current moment, mm. at the current time, at the current space. The yes. information that you receive that is what divination is all about. Okay, so for me, uh, I will just, uh, I will say that definitely we can know what to do. Okay, uh, I maybe I, let me let me say one of my past uh, scenario, or oh, my mm. past case. I remember the time when there was, there was a client asking me uh, this particular interview from uh, Big Five, uh, Big Four, Big Four, Big Four company. Mm. Okay, before company, so uh, he she was very anxious whether she can get it or not. So uh, she asked me to check for her. She, she don't even know whether she will get the interview uh, in the first okay. place. Uh. Mm. So she 
she I mean she doesn't even know whether she get second interview mm. yeah. she went the first interview but she was confident because the interviewer was very impressed with her okay yeah so she asked me mm. do she have a uh high percent of getting it so I told her uh how do I know <laughs> <laughs> But of course, of course, I did. was just joking. Huh? But yeah. a lot of my clients and students eventually become my friend. So, mm. so this is the scenario when I don't know when is the next interview time, right? So then we also don't know uh, whether we also don't know whether she will get another interview or not. So this is the time when I would just ask her to give me three random number. Mm-hmm. So during that time, because uh. I lazy to ask her give me question three digit three digit number. So I straight away use the time she asked me this question. Okay. To start a hmm. So in the dimension I explained to her what what will happen. Okay. Why uh why why what what are they impressed with her about? So I was not in the interview, but I did mention to her what did she say in the interview. So she was saying, eh, correct. Like, that is really what I say. And I even tell her what the interviewer told her in the interview and eventually I told her when she will get the interview I never say that as a day I just say the week range week range to based on the dimension when she will get the next interview and I also tell her who will be in the interviewing her mm. one man and one woman okay mm. then I also tell her based on the dimension what she should wear to better impress the interviewer and how she should present to impress the interviewer so what do you think is the conclusion mm, maybe she able to uh, so called uh, have confidence to go for the second interview because she already know most of the information that is expected so when she show confidence I believe that the interviewer have a good impression of her definitely definitely Uh, teacher Ivan, I can't hear you. No, no, I still can't hear you. Okay, hey. <laughs> so uh, that is one one of our slogan. One is our slogan. Understand right. Understand is in on divination, right? So by understanding your divination, you can understand the outcome so mm-hmm. that you can make a better decision. So this is the main purpose of divination. So of course the conclusion is uh eventually what I mentioned to her from the divination, it happens. Okay. okay. So and she successfully got the job. But wow. Oh, congratulations. But the thing is, the thing is, she never take out the job. Oh, okay. So anything yeah. actually is the obstruction to her. Actually, is- that is what I told her. So I mm. told her, you will reject the better offer and accept a not so good one. <laughs> not, no, 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 the secondary one. <laughs> the main reason is because she feel that it's too stressed. Uh. I see. Uh, so she take out the one that is not so stressed. Uh. Okay. So yeah. Simon has uh, posed a question. Simon says, so is uh, Master Ivan a medium? Medium? Mm. Medium as in uh, I received some information. All right. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't think it's wrong to say I'm a medium. Mm-hmm. But the problem is I'm the medium between who and who. Ah. It's just key. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So most of us who learn in recent dimension, we are the medium from the heaven. Okay. From the earth hmm. to people. Okay. We are passing the message that we receive from the time and space, that we receive from the heaven and earth to people. So are we medium? I would I would say that if initially when you learn when you learn divination, uh, maybe, maybe you can use all the theory given to you. 
example ah,、uh, 钱 is right, 坤 is right, okay. Or five elements is right. You can do all this. Or even you can do a a branch. What what is the trans relationship? Or you can do all that one. Okay. All the theory can help you successfully do a very professional consultation. I can tell you very frank. But eventually, when you are to mastery level or beyond mastery level, it is not just Qian is Qian. Qian can be Kun. Qian can be Dui. Okay. That is the time when you realize that. Qian is not Qian, Kun is not Kun. Qian can be Qian also, Kun can be Kun. So you must be understanding all this, which is the most most advanced advanced mastery. I don't know whether is it called grandmaster lah, but it's very <laughs> advanced level. So saying a media is not wrong lah, because we need to trigger, we need to start. So we are the media between time and space, the heaven and earth, two people. I won't be. I won't say it's wrong. Okay, I just see the comment. Oh、uh, hi John. Hi Simon. Okay, that's why I see ah.、Uh, I was talking just now, right? The message is so lag. Ah.、Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How come I cannot see? Okay. So ah,、uh, do do I think that's a very long answer for that question. Yeah. That's a very long question. So. Uh, do you have other questions? Hmm. Okay. Let me see. Okay. People has been asking. Ah,、uh, is it very hard to learn? Ah,、uh, wisdom divination. Um. Is it that anyone, so long as ah、uh, they are interested in, they can learn and practice wisdom divination? Okay. First, you ask. But is it hard to learn? No, it's not hard to learn. Okay. What you need to learn is only a few things. Five elements. Eight trigram, and the yin and yang. Is that、mm. hard? Less than twenty subject only. <laughs> <laughs> Less than twenty, right?、Eh? Mm. <laughs> Not hard, eh, to me. Is it hard? That's your practitioner. We need time to learn. So just like, it's just like, is it hard to learn twenty seven alphabet? No. Yeah, you see, ah,、uh, we only learn twenty seven alphabet, right? But we use twenty seven alphabet to combine to be how many words?、Mm. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Eight trigrams, five elements, okay, yin and yang. It can be combined into how many things? Okay, it's really the same thing. Like even our Chinese is 很数笔画 just a few strokes. Wow, come out to be how many how many words? Correct not? So we must understand that it is is really not. Difficult to learn, but I didn't say it's easy to master. Learning and mastering is different. Oh yeah, learning and mastering is different. Okay, but I would say that up to professional level is no issue lah. In our e wisdom curriculum. Hmm. Okay. So. Uh, what what is, what is the second part of the question that you are? Oh, yeah,、uh, I'm sorry, Wendy. Yeah,、uh, it's about can anyone, uh, learn and practice wisdom. Uh, anyone that understand English can learn.、Mm. Even if you don't understand English, if you understand only Chinese, I also can teach. I'm better in Chinese than English, to be frank. And so now later will be in Cantonese, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. I Cantonese cannot. I I cannot say proper Cantonese. Mm-hmm. Of the ten heavens, ten and twelve of French. Yeah, that's also a challenge for me. <laughs> I cannot say the proper pronunciation. Some are some of them I can say, but some is very difficult. I don't even know whether is it correct or not.、Mm. So, no lah. I'm not that pro in Cantonese. Although that is my that although that is my dialect, but I'm not that pro lah. That is, that is not my native language. Yeah, okay. So only in Mandarin and English. Yeah. Extension to the question Simon asked, ah,、uh, so need to practice mindfulness or uh, and uh, mediation. Uh, mindfulness and mediation, me me. Hmm, I wouldn't say you need to do it lah, but it will some need cultivation. Our cultivation is not just mindfulness, mitigation. Ah, our our cultivation is a bit unique. Oh yeah. Our cultivation for e wisdom is to have more practice, practical, 
and enter yourself into the world, worldly affair. Okay? Because that's what you want to learn about divination. Okay? So, a lot of people always think that you want to get all this spiritual energy or that, you need to go in the mountain, you need to hide somewhere. In the cave. People cannot disturb you. I think it's wrong. Uh. Okay. I think uh, I don't say it's definitely wrong. Uh. Okay. In my opinion, it's wrong. Why? Um, because what you learn is actually about this world. Living thing, world affair is part of this world. Natural order. So if you cannot even get this thing right, how are you learning natural order? How are you learning cultivation? This is yin and yang. Yin and yang means uh, there, is, there, is, um, there is quietness, there is movement. There is time when you need quietness. There is uh, time when you need I, mindfulness. There is time drop. you need movement. Signal drop. I think we have to re-enter the life again. Is it? They mentioned yes. signal drop. Yes, all... Uh, yeah, they are back again. Good. Okay. We are, they are back again. Uh, okay. So if you all cannot... If you cannot see the light, just let us know. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Simon also asked about uh, learning and mastering uh, divination. Depends on our past life? Uh, definitely no. La. But if your past life do support it, it's, it's advantage. La. If your past life do support it, it's advantage, I would say. Example for me, my past life do practice this one. La. So... Uh, then you don't ask me how I know my past life. Uh. I was about if, to ask. <laughs> if I'm in this line and I don't know my past life, then I'm really not supposed to be in this line. Mm, okay. I, really, I think last week I did mention before, but the Facebook Live, you have deleted it uh, due to some mm. circumstances. Okay, but I think last week we did mention, right, in Divination, we can even see the past life, current life, and future life. So I think it's, it's a... I don't say it's a basic. Uh, I would say that it's a... Is the high master level, hmm. which this may be teach in our monthly cultivation class. Oh, yeah, our monthly cultivation class is only for our uh, alumni students who have attended pro class and uh, mastery class. And we will start in June, which is next month. Okay. So if you have attended any of e wisdom, professional class or mastery class, no matter it's divination, feng shui, or ba zi, you can attend the cultivation class because the class is not teaching on the tools. It's teaching on e-wisdom cultivation. Okay? All right. So I think... Uh, do you have one more question? We drop one more question. 9.30, we can start the live yes, divination. Sir. Because uh, our, most of our previous uh, divination, we always talk about uh, decision-making. The well, how, how do we actually use divination for decision-making? So, teacher, would you like to elaborate more on uh, what e-wisdom can do other than finding a problem uh, on solutions within the divination to know the solutions of the problem? Can you repeat again? Finding okay. the solution to... Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, because uh, we always say about decision making. So when we are confused, we would uh, actually uh, able to see, to get the guidance from the divination, which is also considered a solution to our problem. Lah. So uh, would you like to elaborate more about uh, how, why uh, divination is so miracle that it can give you, it can tell you your problem and it can also solve your problem within one divination. Okay, so basically, for uh our e wisdom divination, mm. okay, comprise of what? Comprise of three pillar. Mm. Okay, this three pillar is what we call the start, process, and result. So this three pillar basically tells you the start of a matter or issue, or life, the process of a matter issue or life, and the result, or we call the outcome, of the e matter issue or life. So from these three pillar, we can derive with different, different kind of information. So example, because we also use a, one of our key 
uh, analyze and uh, analyze two is uh, six relationship. Okay, so using our six relationship, we are able to see the auspicious, not auspicious, uh, very not auspicious, all that kind of thing. That is the most basic. Uh, most basic. But from there, if you get a dimension which is not very auspicious, then you need to see what are the solutions, what are the mitigations that you can do. So these are, and give me a minute. Yeah. And if, can you hear me? Vanessa? Yes. Okay, and if the, and the, the not good definition ends or lands on any of the pillar, from that pillar itself, we can explain. So there's a lot of ways to explain about the divination, the, the thing. So from the different circumstances, different scenario, you are able to make a best possible decision based on all the foreseen forecasted outcome. Tell me, Vanessa, if you know all the outcome, are you able to make a good, better decision? We don't say it's a good decision or bad decision. Are you able to make a better decision? Yes, definitely. Uh, you have the confidence, even if the decision you need to make is not a good one, but you surely have the confidence to do it. That's the thing, because end of the day, divination is, is there. It tells you, but it's your level of your divination level that how, what level, up to what level you can see the motivation to see, to make what kind of levels of decisions to best possible maximize profit from profit or advantage from the outcome. I think that is a key thing. Okay. So I think that's a very good question that you have uh, raised up, Vanessa. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks, Simon, for the question as well. Okay. So I think uh, maybe now we can start our live divination. So now we are starting our second segment, live divination. Any of your, if you have any questions, uh, do post in the uh, comment. So we will just answer your questions based on dimension. So I will start dimension, but I will just start from my side and then I will answer you based on your dimension. Yeah, I don't need... So for today, uh, maybe you do a random number. So when you give me a... When you give me your question, okay, instead of giving me a question first, you can post your random number first. Then after that, you post your question. Okay, then we will... Just uh, answer accordingly. All right. So uh, while we think for questions, let me introduce about our upcoming e wisdom divination professional class. Uh, it's a physical, it's a hybrid class, online and physical class. So it's a three day class. We have, uh, we are holding one class in Singapore this month and one class in Malaysia this month. So the Singapore one is uh, 17, 18, and 19, and the uh, Malaysia one is in Kuala Lumpur, 24th, 25th, and 26th. Okay, so if you want to know more information, you can scan the QR code on the banner. The QR code, which is just here, you should be able to see it. If you cannot scan it properly, you can just go into our Facebook page and find the banner. I think it's definitely there. All the information is inside. How much is it? All the curriculums, what you will benefit from it. You can just uh, ask. If you are not, uh, if you are not confident and you want to ask more questions, you can join our public group for the uh, WhatsApp divination. Uh, okay, our WhatsApp public group. You can join and then ask a question. Okay. So the link, maybe Vanessa can post in the comment as well. I have the uh, registration form and the uh, WhatsApp link all inside the comment. Okay. So you all can just scroll up and see. If you all cannot see, you just ask again. If... Otherwise, if you cannot, you just go to our website. Okay. You can, our website, there's a QR code as well. Okay. For our website QR code, you can scan uh, to get into our official channel, WhatsApp channel, and then you can do all that also. Okay. Just in case, uh, just in case I will just talk in uh, and let us see. Uh. Hmm. Okay, our website is ewisdomculture.com. Yeah. 
All right. Well, then, can you all see? Oh, okay. Should we yes. see? Yeah. So this is our yeah. website, ewisdomculture.com. Okay. So from here, you can see uh, all our latest course and event. Okay. If you don't wait for it to slide, you can scroll around. Uh, if you want to see uh, this video, you can just go and see. And some testimonial, some article by written by me. And uh, this is the this is the QR code that I mentioned. This is the Iris Academy one. Okay. You can join our WhatsApp official channel and our Telegram official channel. And uh, of course, we have linking YouTube or that. If you all want, you can just uh, ask if you, let's say you don't join so many channel, you can use this contact us page as well. You send us an email or you want to contact the individual uh, consultant. Uh, there's a SG email, there's a Malaysia email, and there's a course email. Okay, so which one you want to do is all on the website. You can just uh do accordingly. Okay, it's very easy. Okay. All right. Yeah, Ivan, we have newcomer. Maybe uh you would like to uh so call uh ask uh, ask them if they have uh, any questions that they would like to know from uh, a divination. Then maybe you can introduce yourself. Okay, sure. <laughs> Okay, uh, welcome those who uh, just lady, uh, just came in. So uh, teacher Ivan now is opening to the floor that if you have any questions that you would like to ask and uh, teacher Ivan would actually use the divination to actually uh, give you advice on your question. So you all can post up your question. We're starting with uh, giving us three numbers, then your question uh, you can actually put into the comment. Yeah. So now we are already starting our uh, live dimension segment. If you have any questions, uh, you want us to do a live dimension for you, you can just post your question. You post a three random, uh, three digit number. Okay, any three digit you can come to your mind. Okay, then after which post your questions, then we will start straight. We start there already. So for this, we'll be looking out on the comment, on the questions, to start dimension. So. Now can just do it. So while we think, uh, maybe we can. Do you have any more questions? We can we can do okay. the questions okay. and maybe, answer as well. Uh, they have been asking how long is it? Uh, how long does it take to learn the basic of uh, the 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 knowledge of e wisdom divination? So we have the uh, level one, level two, up to level four, right, teacher Ivan? Yep. So if they were to learn from level one to level four. What is the uh, duration they need to spend? Maybe uh, they, the level one is uh, how many days? Uh, level one is basically... Level have... one is basically LMS. Uh, mm. Learning portal. Okay, it's a learning portal. So you just need to log into a learning portal. Uh, but the learning portal is currently at $99. Uh, I think it's USD or Sing dollar. I can't remember. USD. Is it USD? Mm. Okay, so uh usually this is the standard price, uh, usual price. Uh. So if you want to skip the level one and two, should we come level three? Then that is a better choice. Uh. Okay. But uh if there's class, right, DJ Ivan? Sorry? Level three is a pro class, right, DJ Ivan? Yeah, correct. That's why I say you want to skip level one and two, should we come to level three? You can join our pro class. Uh. Okay. So basically, uh, level one is more like a very basic entry level. Level two is more of a, uh, I don't say it's intermediate, lah, uh, but it's also considered beginner level. Okay. Entry and beginner is different. Okay, So entry is like, you just learn all the basic about what is eight trigrams, how to start dimension. That's entry level to me. Okay, You may not even be able to do the most easiest decoding. Okay. But of course, in our level one, we really teach you how to do the most easy decoding, which is telling whether is this a good dimension or not bad dimension. What is a good dimension, bad dimension? Example, because we have thick cross or that dash. So if you have a lot of thick, then you know it's a good dimension. If you have a lot of cross, then it's a bad dimension. If you have a lot of dash, then it's a moderate dimension. So if you have a thick cross dash, what does it mean? So it's a not here nor there kind of dimension. Then this is the time when you need to go more in depth. Yes. But usually, usually, uh, most people will not get such a complicated dimension. Uh. Mm. Okay. 
especially if you're still you're just learning. Level two will be able to do some easy de decoding already. Okay, other than the good dimension or bad dimension, you be should be able to do will give you a term sheet, some of the five elements meaning all that. So you should be able to do decoding using that already. So in I think in level two you should be able to learn like three or four dimension way. Okay. Especially using six relationship. Okay. Uh actually I, it has been sometimes since I teach level one and two. Okay, so I can't really remember the basic level. <laughs> but I, I can tell you the basic is still what I'm using now. Lah, because I'm still using I'm still using good dimension by dimension. I'm still using the thick cross dash. I'm still using all the uh six relationship that I'm still using up to date, even if I'm at at level five or grandmaster level, or even if I'm using very high level. Because e reason is all about using the basic things to do all the miracle or to do all the medicine. Uh, all the sophisticated, all the very complicated reading. Okay, this is what e wisdom is about. The key is e wisdom. The key is not divination. You must understand that. Okay, then of course in uh level three pro level onwards, you'll be learning the sixty one hydrogram. We even have the dummy proof uh explanation for sixty four hydrogram in our pro level for you to learn. So. Mastery level, of course, is by invitation. You must attend our pro level, then you can join. Uh, if you straight away join our mastery level, I would say no, I won't accept, even if you pay me, pay me the full money. Okay, so uh, for uh, direct entry, is maximum to pro level, only, I would say. Okay, teacher Ivan, we have one question from Simon. Uh, I'm not sure Simon is asking. Uh, Simon given the 431. So he is actually currently predicting winning numbers uh, in Malaysia under the uh, Magnum Toto. Uh, so uh, by reading their computer code. So could e-wisdom divination be helpful in uh, picking his 4D number? Uh, I would say that it's an extra, it's an extra step. Uh. Because if you are using the, com com if you are reading computer code, then you want to use e-wisdom to determine I don't think it's a good step. It's an extra step. It's an extra move. Okay, it's an extra move. But th this question, I don't think I need to start a dimension to tell you. Yeah, right. that's why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I can tell you, if I use divination, I can tell whether this number has a chance to win or not. Mm. But I wouldn't suggest you to do that. Okay, in divination, we don't suggest using divination to get all this indirect well. Okay, all the wealth in our life uh, is already designated. Okay, it's either you get it now or you get it later. Some people do the five goals, uh, five spirit, I don't know what is the English name. Uh, okay, five spirit move, move wealth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. called, yeah, five wealth god, uh, five wealth god is it? No la, no fire god, I think. The five elements moving wealth, I think. Mm. Uh, so uh some people use this uh, is actually bring the wealth from Advanced. the future to now. Okay. So there's also a more bad way la, is to take the wealth from other people into your life. But this one you take already, you have to return. Everything is in and yang one. Okay. So you don't think you think and then nothing will happen. Huh? Uh, that one is you think too much. Mm. Definitely something will happen. Huh? If it doesn't happen to you, it will happen to your family. Unless you're not going to have a family, then don't worry. Lah. Okay. But if, if you're not having a family, you have no descendants, that is the happening already. I can tell you. Alright. So uh, I, don't, I don't suggest using divination. But if you want to use divination for stocks, and shares for business activity, yes. Pick, 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 uh, picking of 4D, I don't suggest, uh, but you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. But I, it's really too troublesome. Uh. Every number you start a dimension, isn't it very troublesome? Yeah, it's too troublesome. It's strong move. Uh. I don't think it's suitable. Uh, in terms of economic wise, <laughs> I don't think it's uh economic friendly. 
and time wasting up because I think you do computer reading it should be eh, this you should be people come in and then you generate a number and then send to them. We around that. Okay. Yay. So so far, do we have any other questions? Uh no. So those who came in because uh, a few more came in. Uh those who came in uh, later, so which is uh you can ask a question uh by giving us a three digit number. Then uh, post up your question. Teacher Ivan will use divination to actually uh, help you to answer on your question. Okay. Uh, oh, so, uh, Simon has said that uh, he, he is currently using Flying Stars. Okay. Flying Stars is a way. Mm. Flying Stars is a way to see wealth. Uh. Direct and indirect wealth. But okay. Flying Star changes is very fast. Uh. So usually... Flying star is a very easy way to see, uh, but it's changing too fast already. Sometimes you haven't start the trigger, uh, the stars really fly away. Of course, I'm talking about the most immediate and most uh most immediate and most best effect. Uh. I'm not talking about the looking about the annum star or the money star or the daily star. Usually for me, if I look at flying star, I'm looking at the hour star. Okay. So if you don't if you don't use all the four Four flying star. That means the year, month, year, month, day, hour, and one more, the original flying star. Okay, and sometimes, uh, the original one we need to the pre heaven one ah. Sometimes we need to look into it. Then, the twenty years one also. So flying star a bit a bit troublesome lah. So I I usually don't use ah, but if you use it well then. That is good also. Right. Anyway, all this, no matter it's fine stuff, whatever, it's still using eight trigrams, it's still using five elements. So it's still using NF. So uh you can say the fundamental is the fundamental maybe is similar. Uh but the I would say the tool is different now because divination is different with fine stuff. You basically use eight trigrams mainly instead of the stars. Okay, uh, Vanessa, is there any more questions? Maybe uh, if there's no question on the floor, mm -hmm. then maybe you, do you have any more questions? You drop more questions, then we... Can we, just, uh, yeah, there's can no we elaborate we more? Because the light uh, for the day. Sure, you have mentioned about uh, try not to do on the 4D. Yeah, but, I cannot uh, hear you. Investing in stocks, uh, we can actually wait, wait. get um, this current stock. Is it is a it your, stock call? Is it a speaker issue? Sorry? I cannot hear you. Oh, okay. Uh, can you hear me now? Are you using Bluetooth or that? Or uh, that? no, I'm yeah, not. I cannot hear you. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear Vanessa? Yeah. Uh, maybe if y'all can hear me, uh, just type a one. If I don't see a one, that means you can't hear me. Okay, Simon is able to hear, so I assume that uh, teacher Ivan is your Bluetooth. You all cannot hear me or you all cannot hear Vanessa? Maybe on type in comment. Yeah, Simon mentioned can hear both. I believe teacher Ivan is your Bluetooth. Give me a minute. Ah. God, I cannot mm. hear anything. Ah. Can you hear me now, Vanessa? You can hear me, but I cannot hear you. Eh. The thing is, I cannot hear you.
I see whether I can hear now. All right, can you hear me now? Did you have it? Yeah, I can hear. Good. Okay, uh, because uh, it's about the questions like uh, investment and stocks. So are we able to use the divination to know that uh, this uh, stock, should we short hold or should we have it a long term keeping it up? Uh, so uh, what would be uh, the divination able to tell us uh, the progress and um, so-called the possible, the, the likewise are uh, able to uh, gain profits uh, stocks by the stocks uh, trade numbers? Okay, first of all, the we go step by step. Uh. Dimension can tell us whether are you suitable to trade stocks or shares. Okay, that's uh -huh. the one thing. If you are suitable already, if the dimension tell you you are not suitable already, I suggest you don't do stock and share. Okay, okay. maybe you can do blue chip, uh, but I believe if you cannot do stock and share, uh, maybe blue chip will be pulled down by you. <laughs> hmm. Because so, uh, so some people, it, have, some people uh, really don't have the luck. Uh. Okay. So uh, I explained that before. I spent that before personal experience. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so uh, if you're suitable already, you can use predict. Uh, you can use divination to predict what are the various because stock and shares got the category. Okay, oh. so you can base first decide which category is making money this year or which category is make making money this quarter. Okay, then you determine already. You narrow down the category. Then from the category, you can see a few suitable uh, divine, uh, you can do, either you can do one divination on each stock and share that you, you have shortlisted, or you can do one divination to determine which is the stock and share that you should invest in. It will even tell you, uh, divination will even tell you what is the amount that is suitable, what is the maximum amount, minimum amount that you should put in, and what is the profit that you are getting back. Okay. I think previously I wanted to set up a uh investment class uh if it's some investment class. But the one is not just divination, uh, the one is using a bar as well. Okay, so but the one I think never pulled through. <laughs> yeah, but never mind. Uh but definitely I think that is uh if you ask me about divination, divination is definitely uh a very simple thing. Uh. Whereas uh, it's, it's one simple subject that dimension can do uh, to read side and shares. Okay, so uh, Simon has a uh, Simon says I uh, mentioned that he mostly to buy uh, financial counters. Financial counters. Uh, oh, okay. Actually, no matter what you are buying, there is a category. Even if there is no category, just like even you're buying REITs, there's a category, right? <laughs> what kind of REITs you're buying? Oh, yeah. So even if you're not buying REITs, you're buying mutual fund. So you can choose you want from which country. The country is the category. You, want, you can choose you want what kind of industry. So I think all this can be seen. Even if there's no category, you can just start a dimension to see whether this stock and shares I don't it know whether you can do it or not. Mm. Okay. But some pro level can do it. But I would suggest mastery level to do it. But pro level doesn't mean you cannot do it. Pro level you can still see, but not so in depth. I can tell you very frank. To this to be frank, I don't want to promise moon and stars. And then after that, you can see that is not my way of teaching. Okay. I don't promise you. Okay. I will just promise that I'm good, I'm paying. 120 percent in teaching y'all the level that y'all learn y'all sign up for but uh i also promise that y'all will be learning y'all can learn okay but uh, i cannot promise what level you are learning you can learn to because if you are not participating some students they are very active in sharing in doing divination definitely they cultivate enough they can be more advanced than others people some people they learn already they don't do divination anymore. They don't even bother to use divination to start doing divination, the decision or that. Then how can you expect that you learn? Okay. Just like just like if you if you tell me you learn alphabet 27 alphabet, but you never use the 24 alphabet to form words before. 
or you form words, but you never use it to write composition before. Can you improve your English? Or you have learned the alphabets, but you never you you learn the pronunciation, but you never speak English before. Are you able to speak fluent fluent English? All these are practice, and practice is part of cultivations. Okay, I can only say that. Uh, okay. Okay. Any more questions we have? Uh, yes, uh, teacher Ivan, I remember last time you did uh, about two months, you have actually daily posted in Telegram um, Divination Calendar. Divination Calendar? Yes. You actually has the divination in the calendar that you have posted out in Telegram. So it's like uh, reading out what is uh, to, what today may happen and uh, like uh, what is the... Uh, the the, oh, the one is actually the one is is that divination calendar? Mm, yes, the one is uh, the the six. I uh, think the one is not just a tri divination. The one is inclusive of the Ganzi calendar. Mm, the, that's the the means the, the yeah, heaven stem metal oh. branch calendar. The one yeah. you are talking about the calendar, right? All right. But <laughs> oh, they want a lot of work. <laughs> that was wrong. <laughs> that I do daily, right? Yeah. Uh, I, do, I do for how long? Uh? three months. Uh, months? Two months, two, about two months. Oh, that's a lot of work. Eh? Yeah, that's a lot of work. They ask, uh, what is the difference between that and horoscope? Does it also, that is also one of the two similar to horoscope? What horoscope? It's like, uh, I would say it's maybe the stars, the, the 12 uh, uh, horoscope, uh, the 12 uh, uh, astro, astro stars, like the, uh, or is it something? You mean, you mean the, uh, the, you mean the Scorpio or this? Mm. So the reading I like actually, uh, do you know the origin of uh the horoscope? No, eh, that's why the actually horoscope is part of Chinese metaphysics. Mm, okay. In last time, the horoscope is called Huang Dao Shi Er Gong. Have you heard before? Uh, yeah. Huang Shi Er Gong. Okay, yes, I heard before, but uh, that was it's, like it. It's actually. In, in, I don't know why it's, it's so uh, I don't know why it becomes so um, become western kind but it's actually part of Chinese metaphysics and uh, is they just change some of the some of the horoscope that's all like uh, like uh, Sagittarius uh, like some of like the twins all that I think they just change some of the character but the meaning is actually the same yeah. So yeah. uh is there any different? Uh I wouldn't I wouldn't I would say it's a different tool. Lah. I would say it's different. It's just like some people every year, uh when the new year is reaching, everyone is talking about the the child Chinese horoscope, right? The child zodiac, right? Okay. Yeah. The dog, the the snake, all this. So you may be seeing eh, how is this different with doing the traditional parts? Mm. Right, like example, those a lot of masters will have say, uh, in two two four, uh, dog is not good. What 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 is not good? Correct right, now. Yes. Uh, so very simple, ma. How many kind of dog is there? Mm, five, five yeah. elements. So not just five, more than five, because why? Even the five elements dog is different. Mm. Okay, why? The same dog. It's different because the same dog can be man, can be woman. Can a man life and a woman life be the same? No. Different. Then the same dog, they are, they are having different job also. So can, like some maybe, one of the dog is nurse, one of the dog is doctor. Can a dog and a doctor and nurse be the same? Different. Mm. Okay. So that is only the year. So there is a certain accuracy, but that is a very minimum. Okay. So uh, I would say that there is still some there's still some reading to do like, otherwise it wouldn't be passed down to but I always tell people if a uh, knowledge a tool can be passed down for so many years then there should be a reason for it if there's no reason that it should be forgotten or it should be destroyed if it's too powerful mm. just like in just like Yi Jing we always talk about Yi Jing right okay what is the between the difference between Yi Jing and Zhou Yi do you know? No. 
everyone know about Zhou Yi, right? Mm, yes. Zhou Yi, everyone says Zhou Yi is the 64 Wen Wang. Mm. Okay. The work, the King Wong, mm. Zhou Yi. Okay. So, what is the difference? Yi Jing is talking about the no words one. Okay, the eight trigrams, the passed down one. Okay, passed down by Fu Xi. Okay, the what he passed down is just the eight trigram. Okay, and then Zhou Yi comes up with the 64 hexagram from the post heaven trigram. Okay, the Fu Xi one is using pre heaven trigram. So that is very different. But a lot of people don't, they don't even understand about all this and they say everything is teaching. Okay. But it doesn't matter. It to even if you ask me pre heaven or post heaven, it doesn't matter. As long as you are using eight trigrams, yin and yang, five elements, you are using eating. If you ask me. But if you are not using these three things, okay, you are not using either of it. Uh, you are not even, don't tell me you use three of it. Uh, because in e wisdom, you use three of it. Uh, in, you are not even using one of these three, then don't tell me you are doing eating. Okay. So this is very easy to identify whether it's an authentic eating or a fake eating. Hmm. Okay, uh Simon asked, uh, could you uh teacher Ivan elaborate more on that calendar? <laughs> the calendar? calendar that you did. What is it's the just a, it's just a normal Tong Su calendar, la. just a daily calendar. What is auspicious that day, what you should can do that day, the divination of that day, the 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 day suitable for what elements, what day master people, what Chinese horoscope uh people. That's all. It's just a tong su. That one that one is written by me. Right? If you're interested, you can backtrack uh our some of our past video, I think. I think it should be a past video. I never delete away, so it should be behind. But uh the one is a lot of work, uh, so the next never helped me, uh, so I never do. <laughs> it's all do by me. I write the the calendar myself. I do the recording, the voiceover myself. Uh. Uh, so it's quite troublesome. <laughs> so I never do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have the, that is the last question that uh, Simon has posted up so far. Uh, no question post up. Okay, so I think that's about it. Uh. Anyway, we already do one hour of uh, live streaming. So uh, the next, the upcoming will be our, I think next week we're having our class already. Yeah, it's so, already yeah, so let's say maybe we can do one more live next Friday. So if you want us to do one more, the next, the, eh, is next, next Friday. Thursday or Friday? Let me see. Let me see my calendar. Yeah. So uh, maybe if you all want us to do one more live next week, we can post in the comment that you want us to do one more live. Then we we can see the demand. Then we can start one. We can do one more a live divination event on nine or ten Thursday or Friday. Okay, it depends. Uh. Okay. So if it, if there's demand, then we will do it. Uh. If no demand, then we will do it. Uh. Then for just to before we end, uh, let me just remind you all of our upcoming e wisdom financial professional class that we have uh, upcoming class this May. Uh, we have one class in Singapore, one class in Malaysia. Okay. Uh, the Singapore class will be 17 May to 19. Okay. Then the Malaysia one will be 24 to 26 May. So um, you can scan the QR code to look at the more detail on, of the course. It's up. It's a pro level. So it's teaching you from level zero to level three. Level zero means you don't need to have any basic. Okay, you can have zero basic. We teach you from zero. Okay, so um, if you're interested, you scan the QR code uh, from our background now, or you can look at the banner from the page to scan in all the website. You have a lot of channels to go and see, just you know, search for it. Okay, if you don't, don't want to search for it, then just ask in the group chat. All right. So if you have any question, y'all can just still uh there's different channels or avenue for y'all to find us, like the like Facebook comment. This Facebook live is going to be left behind. And uh you can contact us in our WhatsApp group as well. Okay, I think that's about it.
thanks everyone uh, for listening to us. Thanks to our audience. So uh, have a good night. Okay, okay. good night, everybody. Bye.